Hello, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself, and of course, and vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to chip, jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time-stamped. Okay, so if you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that, and that will bring you to the uh, start of the read. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay. Oh, okay, I am a little bit air of that. So I'm just going to take these in. Now I'll be. So, uh, Taurus, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And just to know, you know, um, you know, like I said, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. All right. So it seems like you put an end to something. Something that you kind of, um, with the, with the 10 there, something that you had to be emo uh, mentally mature about with the king is like, I got to think logically about this situation. I've got to be mentally mature about this. I've got to be strategic in, in terms of how I handle this, in terms of how I move. Yeah, there's disappointment in this because you still have this strong attraction towards this person, but there is this definite feeling of loss. Um, if I could put this card here, uh, definite feeling of loss. And I feel like that feeling is, of loss is more about what you had already built with this person or the opportunity that you saw to build, to build with this person, to have something with this person, to establish something. And now there's just this lack of clarity, unable to kind of make sense of things. Keeping it to yourself, though, it feels like that you're kind of holding that to yourself. You're not sharing that with much people close family, friends, whatever the case may be, because there's this lack of clarity around, you know, what happened, what does this mean, that type of thing. Your person, though, which is quite interesting, they are, or have, or they did, because this is kind of the recent past, uh, came to some form of realization, this epiphany, this uh, understanding about something. It's like they, the, 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 how do you put that? The, the, the blindfolds have been, taken off and they've now come to some form of realization maybe that realization is around how serious you are this time round. but they still have this idea of wanting to bring something back at, back again or hold on to something and this level of belief which I'm not really comfortable with simply because I feel like that's coming from a place of and that's for some of them coming from a place of you know I've managed to get this person back before so I can do it again um, this level of confidence that I'm not really comfortable with. But regardless of that, they're holding on to this, that ace of, of, of swords represents them having a solution or an idea in how to do that, still holding on. And it's because you guys have been with, so have you been together for a while or this person was looking long-term uh, with you? I feel like from the majority of you, this is more about long-term than being with you for a while. That's when, for the majority, it doesn't have to be that. Uh, this definite uh, pull towards you, strong attraction and strong draw and a pull towards you. And they're wanting things to turn around uh, and they're willing to put in the work. Sis, I know I need to put in work. I know I, I'm acknowledging that there's work that I need to put in when it comes to uh, this connection, this relationship with Taurus, with my Taurus. Don't think you're having it though. Or there is this indecisiveness about you currently. It's back and forth, back and forth indecisive about this person or maybe how to handle or what steps to take now i feel like this person could be i want to use the word badgering which means just kind of bothering you or maybe not bothering you because for some of you that's a welcome communication but this badgering badgering is this um on you 
on you, contacting you, calling you, checking up on you. Uh, definitely moving behind the scenes when it comes to this relationship, trying to figure out what you're up to, spying on you, watching your social media, that type of thing. Where for you, it's like, okay, now I'm trapped in my head. And now I'm constantly thinking about this situation. Should I take this person up on their offer? Is there hope? Can we move down a new direction? Can we make something of this? There's a part of you that is... There's a because we do have that Queen of Cups, which talks about patience, understanding, support. So there is this understanding or compassionate side or element to you because you do want that. You want stability. You want loyalty, stability, reliability. You want something stable. Yeah, you want something stable. Is it with this person? We 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 shall see. I mean. Where they're at at the moment, it's like they're not wanting to acknowledge, take accountability. It's not about accountability, isn't it? It's not, it's, 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 how do I put that? How do I put that? <laughs> then they're, they're not, it's like they're choosing to not see it simply because there's a level of pressure, pressure or fear or stress around acknowledging their role that they play or um it's like a conscious choice it's like i need to make a choice to acknowledge this i need to make a choice to see this knowing that if they do that would move them towards this nine of cups this emotional happiness but i feel like it's really really tough for them to do that really really tough and don't underestimate the toughness of that might be easy for you might be easy for me in certain circumstances but for this person with this it's just a tough thing for them to do. Just a tough thing for them to do. You get this, you, there is this sense, I will say this though, Taurus, there is this sense that you can have emotional happiness with them. I feel like this also stems from just what you've experienced with them in the past as well. But there is this inkling around Three of Cups. It's like, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure whether this person is able to, I feel like your intuition is kicked in or some form of insight or, it could have a telepathy communication or contact or connection with this person as well. Sometimes that means like this deep spiritual connections and point where you're telepathically picking up on each other's thoughts. But there's this feeling of, is this, the question really is, is, is this person ready? You know, they're capable, but are they ready still engaging? Because there is this feeling that you do have around them engaging in just stuff that they should be engaging in. If, if, if it's coming from someone who wants a serious relationship, you shouldn't be talking to other people, should be flirting, should be talking to any past relationships or exes, anything like that. Uh, because you're wanting peace. It's like, I just want peace with the temperance. I want peace in this situation. I want peace. I want peace. I tell you something. See, the silver lining is this, though. The, the, the Knight of Cups talks about very slow-moving energy, hesitant. Um, so they are slow emotionally when it comes to this, this slow emotionally. How do I explain that? They are slow in the sense of knowing that this acknowledgement that you have a positive impact on them and their life in some way. And yes, they're wanting to heal this, heal them, um, because there is this ace of cups there. There's either love here or they're wanting to move towards that. But again, we're going back to this. They need to acknowledge, be brave enough to look at parts of their self that they just find uncomfortable, that they find uncomfortable, which is the, ultimately, which is the demise of relationship, of this relationship. Is this person ready? I feel like they will be, given time. Given time, they will be. The question is, is are you willing to hang around and wait? Now, my mom used to say to me, and I'm going to let you inside, never wait on any man, you know, and I, I, just, I stick to that to this day. You know, yes, this person has work to do. However, while you're, while they're doing their thing, you know, you, you kind of focus on your life and other areas of your life. And I know that's a bit difficult to do, especially if you're caught up with someone emotionally and mentally as well. But that's the best way you get yourself into a better frequency in that way. You know, you focus on feeling good about yourself. This person comes back in the right way. Then we can pursue. We can continue. It's not them. It's going to be someone else because you're going to attract you where you're at. 
So focus on getting yourself into a better place. And we'll see how long it takes this person to sort their self out because they are moving. They are wanting to uh, sort out their stuff. They're just not in a place to acknowledge it just yet. Difficult, tough. Person has to look at size of their self that, you know, is not attractive. They might have to admit certain things to their self that they didn't want to admit in the past or find it quite difficult to admit. Um, usually at this point, we move into part two of the reading where we kind of expand on this. For those of you that want to know, I will be implementing that in, in next week, guys. Very exciting. Um, so as it stands, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week. Bye.